So I was just thinking about this and the amount of anxiety and stupid issues that um, the spoilers thing causes with Marvel people. I mean, how about they only do a few interviews initially, very immediately, where they do it with the no spoilers people. Then they discuss in depth with anybody that's interested uh, the full movie and their involvement in it. Since it's already, you know, been released immediately in the next interviews with tags that say spoilers, you know, on it on YouTube and any other website. So it's very clear that they're, they're going to be talking about the movie. And before the, it's the video starts, you say, we're going to be talking in depth about the script. So if you haven't watched it, stop here. That's all. We need to stop fucking around. I don't like people playing games like it's some sort of, like, secret mission from the government to, you know, spy on another country to not reveal Marvel spoilers. It's gay. And, it's uh, gay. The other thing is, spoiler-free movie trailers. Like, why are some movie trailers, like, they're short, but they just have the end fight scene of the movie, for example? That's something you should never do. You should never reveal if somebody dies in the movie, they're alive again in the trailer. Like, obvious things. So, you can have a trailer that reveals things to people who don't care, but has to clearly say spoiler version and non-spoiler version. Like, of course you should have both versions of a trailer. It just makes sense. I don't know. And at this point, I doubt anybody cares because, once again, we are uploading these videos to YouTube.